All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Pal World Part 41, and we're gonna be doing days 81 and 82. Last time we found where the Jet Dragon apparently spawns, uh, and we did a huge trek without a single fast travel the whole way. We finally found another one somewhere over here. And I want to see what all this is, too. This all looks really interesting. Like medieval fortifications, almost. <clears throat> but first, I want to see if this is another wildlife sanctuary, and if, and if that's what these places all are. Because I think there's also a third one off to the east. If they're all wildlife sanctuaries. Somewhere where we can commit a crime once we're ready to test those waters. Which I'm sure I will be eventually. Wow, that number two wildlife sanctuary. They are. Huh. Okay, and they probably have a door in the middle I can't open again. Would be my guess. Not seeing anything over here. A quivern! Let's go. A Jormantide Ignis? That sounds sick! Wow, these are high level areas too. Like, you gotta be willing to commit a crime, but you could get some good stuff while you're here. We definitely have to try out these wildlife sanctuaries eventually. For sure. All right, let's go see what's going on with the castles on this side of the on this side of the island. So there was obviously paths here we had to ignore that we're going to go back for later. Maybe this side will even like tie into those paths. <clears throat> but we also need to What was I saying? Oh yeah, we also just need Ultra Spheres, because they're, they were barely good enough for Jormantide. Like, if we're going after Jet Dragon, a level 50, like a max level alpha, do we have 9 Wixens or 10? Then we're going to need possibly even better. We Okay, we do need one more Wixen, so I guess we'll grab this one. That's right, we're doing this. You and me. No! Okay, well. Should have known that was going to be super effective. My bad. That's entirely my fault. Blame that one on myself. Okay, what do we have here? Looks mostly run down. I thought there'd be something there, to be honest. This looks, um... Like if Dark Souls was not a dark fantasy game, but like a light fantasy game. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying, right? You, you understand what I'm saying by that? God, that's a big dragon egg. Let me go get that. And we have so many eggs to deposit too. Huge dragon egg. Oh, that'll be exciting. I like that. Look at this. And there's nobody slash nothing in this? Okay, here we go. Some van worms. Okay, castaway journal maybe. Which we will read one day. Day 13. Absolutely how, sir. <laughs> Absolutely how. Could you make a base here maybe? That could probably be pretty cool. You make a base in these fort ruins maybe? Oh... That is a huge scorching egg, isn't it? Which means I'm going to have to drop something because I can't carry it and everything else. If it's a large, we can carry it. If it's a huge... No, even if it's a large, we can't. I brought four cement with me. Of course I did. Alright, I think it's time to ditch the spear. I ran it as long as I could. There we go, Lily's Spear, which looks fire. Still too much weight. Damn it. Alright. Sorry, normal scorching eggs. I tried. 
I really did. These aren't anything, are they? They're just decoration. This is such a cool area, though. Look at that stairway up the wall. What? I definitely want to build a base here. It makes sense that the Brothers of the Eternal Pyre Martyr, Martyr would be here. This is where they should set up shop if they're not set up at the tower. But I think they are set up at the tower is what the uh, villager said, right? There's some pyrens, of course. No, leave me alone, Van Worms. I'm not interested in playing with you guys. I can catch lower level pyre <laughs> Van Worms somewhere else. Look at where this egg is, dude. Nice. Nice. They're kind of all over. The amount of scorching eggs you can find on Mount Obsidian is wild. Absurd, even. Let's see if we can catch these pirates. Oh. Lightning strike here. Nice. What did I just pick up? 37 wood for real? Why would you do that? Damn it. That's so unfortunate. Oh no. <laughs> what has it done to itself? It went and got itself lost. Here we go. Check the damage on Lily's spear. And it looks good, by the way. Alright, hypersphere then. There we go. That's a great capture rate. Come on. Get in there, Pyron. Yo, what? Thank you. Serious Nimble. Oh, the music's popping off. Why is this capture rate so much lower? Oh well, it worked. Yeah. We take it. 7th and 8th Pyrons. I'm actually surprised we have 8 Pyrons. I didn't think we were that far along on those. I'll take it though. Alright. What is this place called? Ruined Fortress City. Yeah, it is a ruined fortress city. True that. Let's go back to base. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Hold up now. Hold up now. I don't need to help them with the ore. We have plenty of it. What we're dying for is not ore. But something else. We need coal. Alright, let's put some eggs in. Huge scorching egg here. Large scorching egg. Scorching egg. And we should have more wool now. Which means we can make more cloth. Three of the four cakes are done. That's real nice. Hold up. While I'm doing all this, Lunaris, I need you to... Make these, please. And in fact, let me cancel this. Twenty-seven because of because of Paldium fragments being the stopper. Let's go twenty-four. So that we have thirty, and that'll have to do for now. What a shame about the Paldium fragments. Always a problem. Always a problem. Okay. I didn't put the huge dragon egg in. What am I doing? So now we have, um, what do we have? Now we have, holy crap, where was I going with that? <laughs> where was I going? <clears throat> I don't even remember. It's gone. I don't remember anymore. We have something. 
I don't know what it is, but we have something. Here we go. Let's go back to here. See how much wood and stone they've gotten us. I don't need more wood right now, but let's see how much stone they've gotten us. Probably not that much. I was here pretty recently. Yeah. I mean, that's actually more than I was expecting, so I'm happy with that. 1600's not bad. <clears throat> Take that over, because we're going to need more for cement down the road. Probably put some food in their feed box. Probably something we're going to have to do. And then we go back, keep making ultra spheres, and head back out to the volcano, because we need to hit that. Um, no, that's not what I needed. There's nothing actually cooking, so yeah, we actually are good. <clears throat> Come on, just get over there. There's one huge rocky egg. We're absolutely collecting out here. I'll pick it up later. Don't need to put down the carry weight for no reason. Uh, okay. Hoping that we also find a dungeon while we're out there on the volcano because we could really use... Come on. Well, let me jump and put, hit E at the same time. We could really use... Paladin Fragments. 100%. I am constantly getting distracted. I am, I'm a mess when it comes to keeping up with everything. We're nowhere near the Kremises yet. Okay, let's hit it. Let's just grab however many Ultra Spheres are done and make it happen. So we're at 13. That's a start. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still struggling a little bit. My health has not been... Um, my real health has not been cooperating lately. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this going to actually be like a spot? These wooden structures here made it look like maybe the Pyre Martyr would actually be here. But I guess not. This is such a cool area. Another scorching egg. We have enough eggs. We don't need eggs. Dungeon. Yes! Perfect. Not only is the area really cool, but there's also a dungeon nearby. You got the ocean. You got the tree out in front of you. Very nice. Another level 40 volcanic cavern. Let's hit it. Have the gigaspheres ready to start. Okay, good. I did not bring the cement. I don't... <laughs> I was like, don't tell me I brought the cement again. <clears throat> we'll grab the coal, too, because we do need that. Cognito. I'm pretty sure I do need that. I need two Cognitos. Perfect. We'll nab those while we're here, then. Hello, Cognitos. Don't mind if I do. Alright. So we can do the rest from there. Capture rate's not terrible, but it's not good. What? Okay, good. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Can I help you? They're so aggressive. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw Mega Spheres, to be honest. Like I said, not a lot of chances to use those anymore. We've got the numbers. I'm not really worried about dying to these things, so we can just keep stabbing. Whoops, I missed. The way they walk is so fun. And if it's eleven percent, on average that's nine mega spheres. That's not the end of the world. Yeah. 
Oh, that's right. Today's going to be a little short because of how much longer I had to record yesterday because of uh, not finding that fast travel and being in danger of burning to death from lava. Forgot about that. Okay. This time the low capture rate's not cooperating. Thank you. Okay. Not ideal, but we got our 10th Cognito. That's wrapped up. Yeah, we'll grab this, sure. We need it. <coughs> Not as bad as we need Paladin Fragments, I don't think, but we definitely need it. What's next? Another coal. Why not? I'll take it. <coughs> I should really stop recording. <laughs> I think it's probably hurting the quality of my videos when I'm recording in this shape. You can probably hear how messed up my, I am at the moment, which is just not great. Sorry about that. Oh boy, Toko Tokos. Leave me alone. No thanks. Okay, and now it splits three ways after coming this far. Oh, there's the boss right there. Okay. Wait, I saw Paladium. <laughs> Turn around for a second. Hit Cognitos. Have a good one. They're not aggressive, and I like that. Can barely carry this. But we got there. Hello. They're so friendly. They could easily be so much less friendly. Alright. <clears throat> what am I trying to catch with these two hyperspheres before I start throwing ultras? An Alpha Lavander. With no help. It's just all on its own. Pal on the prowl. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, Lavander, let's do this. Oh, she's pumped. She's hopping around like this is the best day of her life. She, I'm assuming, could be a he. Probably more female Lavanders than male, though. I'd have to guess. Oh, Grenadier. Grenadier is going off at the moment. Lightning streak again? Nice. Dude, Lux is huge. He's, his stats aren't even that good for a Masanda Lux. He's just built like that. Look at this! Got it under a thousand before the grenade launcher was spent. There it goes. Go get him, Joker. Oh, the hypersphere should be doable based on what I'm seeing. Joker! 556 on a level 40 alpha? Who built you? What was that? Oh man, <laughs> I wanted it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Joker just popped off. Committed absolute murder. Assault rifle schematic one. Uncommon assault rifle? Oh, if only I'd known, I'd have waited. Ah! <laughs> Could have made a better assault rifle. Probably not much better, though, to be honest, if we're being real. Like, I can't, I can't be too disappointed. It's not like it's an epic or a legendary assault rifle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What? That is a wild reptiro. Reload that. That is. That is a wild Reptyro. Let's do this. Let him know. Lightning streak. Very good. Oh, God. I hate it when our character picks up wood in the middle of a fight. 
It's the worst. No thank you, Lux. You're gonna end up killing it. Look at the damage. It's enough. Okay, Hypersphere 27. Not great. Here's the last one. We got Mega Spheres of Plenty. Do it. Yes, sir. Our second Reptyro. And we're starting to get kind of close to 46, which is exciting. Pyrin, I can definitely humor that with Mega Spheres. Especially if it's all by his lonesome right here. Good hits. Thank you, Lux. Man, I need to make more arrows slash buy more arrows. Probably make. Arrows are so fast to make. I know they only cost five gold each. I am missing every shot. Can you believe it? I bet you believe it. <laughs> I'm sure nobody here doubts it. They've seen me play. <laughs> they know I can miss just like the rest of them. 13%. Here we go. 14%. Here we go. Spend these Mega Spheres on something before we head back to base. Nice. Okay, yeah. Let's head back. Um, I kind of want to make those Ultra Spheres because we're starting to run really low. Go get those Paladin Fragments in there so we can make even more Ultra Spheres. And I want to go catch some low-level Van Worms while we're here, I guess, because we still need four. All right. Thanks, guys. Bravo on the breeding. Not enough cake, but they're not ready to go again anyway. It's a lot of huge rocky eggs. We'll do one more. Uno mas. And then we'll have to make cake for something else. Try something new. Okay, yeah. Put the coal and the palladium in there. Emeralds. Put the ore in there. Okay, yep. That's all that. Uh, give me the eggs, though. Give me those back. How are we looking over here? This one's ready to go. Another Kelsey Ignis. <laughs> Alright. Those are happening a lot. Here's another little dinker. And once that's done, we can put some real eggs in there. Looks like everyone's in good condition. Refined ingots are coming along slowly but surely. Lunaris can help with that. You know what? Actually, cancel that. Put more on the list. Excuse me, can I get this Paladium, please? Why am I having to do this? Why wouldn't you just enter my inventory? Oh, because it's full. Now that makes sense. <laughs> I'm getting taunted right now. Absolutely taunted, okay. 32. That's how much cement we have. I'm okay with that. Let's do that. Alright, you work on that. 32 will get us to 45. That's a pretty decent number. Getting up there for sure. Bones, fibers, leathers, flame organs, which we have 256 of, by the way. You know, just a little something. I'm going to have to eat that stir-fried veggies when there's no boss around so, I, so that I can uh, not lose it. And then we'll see how long the buff lasts. If it lasts the whole hour, that's actually crazy. <clears throat> okay. No, Ancient Sip Parts goes up here. Uh, assault Rifle Schematic 1 I'll actually hold on to. 
Refined Metal Armor Schematic 1 wasn't terrible either, to be honest. Not good enough that I actually want it, want it, but but not bad. Sulfur. Oh, I didn't put the Venom Glands away. What am I doing? Oh, that's right. We don't have a weapon thing right now, so... Oh, no. It can just go on a, a production assembly line. Easy. Making more arrows for the uh, weaker enemies in the game. 300 arrows would be good. <clears throat> yes. We're out of hyperspheres entirely. Which does suck. It's true. Venom glands. Wool goes here, I guess. Uh, let's go sell at Fisherman's Point. <clears throat> Find the merchant. Sell our goods. There's another merchant here. Wandering merchant. Uh, buy. <sighs> what? No way. Oh my god, we could buy over 3,000 assault rifle ammo from this man. What nonsense is that? Money just became so much more valuable. By an enormous amount. Assault rifle ammo is purchasable here? That's actually insane. I'll buy 200 to be cheap for now, but like... <laughs> that was 30,000 for 200 ammo. But that feels so worth it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's nonsense what I just saw. I love it. I love the nonsense. Okay. What in God's name? Build electric furnace. Uh, actually, Lenaris, can you focus on this right now? Yeah, see? Look at that craft speed. That's not messing around. Okay, electric furnace takes... Electric furnace. 20 polymer, 10 circuit boards. We can do that right now. Allows for 5 minute palmetto ingot. Oh, Jesus. Why have I not been doing this? 10 circuit boards, 20 polymer. Um, yeah, she's, she's just about there. I'll work on this while she's finishing that up. There you go. Okay, thank you. You're great. Um, t 10 circuit boards. Oh, we need polymer for circuit boards, too. Jeez. Okay, hold up now. So if we need two polymer for every circuit board, that means we need 40 polymers. Let me get on that. 40 polymers means 80 pile oil, and we have 11. So we need 69, nice, pile oil from Fisherman's Point. Because they sell that here, too. 69 pile oil. Which was 300 each, right? So that's going to be what? Another 25,000 or so? Oh, now we're spending money. Oh yeah, now we're spending money. 20,700, okay. Okay, we just spent over 50,000 gold in this game today. <laughs> I feel like we did a good job of making a lot of money for this moment, and yet I still feel like we don't have enough money because of because <laughs> three thousand assault rifle ammo is great, but I could definitely cook through that. You know what I mean? Like I could burn through that if I wanted to. Uh, okay, <laughs> awesome, 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 awesome. Let's make all the polymers we need. 
We're gonna need 40. Yep. Polymer up. And she's pretty quick at it. Very nice. Very nice. That's great. Electric Furnace will be really good as well. The refined ingots are coming along. Can we make more cake? Not enough flour. Oh, yeah, we do. I actually know we do have enough flour because Jormantide should be running it right now. Where did Jormantide go? Feed box. Ooh. Okay. Let's make 100 fried eggs. 120 fried eggs. That'll be good real soon. Grab this flour and then we can make more eggs. Jormantide's been running that. I don't know where Jormantide went. Probably fell. Let me grab him actually. Make sure he's okay. There you go. God, he's huge. He just does, th he does not really fit, does he? Four more cakes. We're at 51 extra effigies. That's crazy. Thanks, Reptyro. I appreciate you. Alright. Um, oh, nice. These are coming along. We got both of them working on it, which is great news. And then we'll make 10 circuit boards out of this. Can make the electric furnace, and that'll be an upgrade. Bit of base work going on today. And it is day 82. I'll be curious to see how far we get in 100 days. I've been getting recommendations on YouTube for people doing Power World in 100 days to see what they accomplish. After I've played for 100 days, maybe I'll finally watch some YouTube videos of Power World. I, um, I've been trying to keep the game, obviously, as blind as I can while still hanging out with friends and playing with my brother and stuff like that. Um, and I've done a really good job, I think, of avoiding all that stuff. But, um, what am I getting at? But I am very curious to see, like, you know, the Giga Shield. The fact that we didn't have a shield until, like, level 45 or 44. Some obvious shit that people were all doing. I'm gonna love to see how many stupid moments we have compared to others. And to see, you know, how much other people are accomplishing in the same amount of time. But here comes this electric furnace, which is what tech level? 44! I mean, we're building this pretty soon after it become, becomes available. That looks awesome, by the way. Really wish I could see the description of a pal metal ingot, but alright. How much does Jormantide eat? I didn't actually check. Does he eat as much as a Penking does? If he doesn't, then shame on you, Penking. He eats less than Penking! Dude! <laughs> Penking, come on! Why do you eat so much? That's some crazy talk. Hey, Talia. Alright, we have what we need. Beautiful. Uh, let me pet Lunaris, though. Lunaris has been doing a great job. I'm so proud of you, Lenaris. You're a great worker. Your your handiwork is excellent. Okay, electric furnace needs to go in the in here, right? Especially next to the power generator makes so much sense. It's too tall for an area with no roof. Okay. Could put it right here for sure, next to the yeah yeah yeah. Here we go, an electric furnace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thousand workloads. You know, just a little something. Oh, Penking, you don't want to help? Oh, he's hungry. Dig Toys is not helping either, obviously. Uh, you guys work on that. I'll help Lunaris with the Ultra Spheres. Dig Toys, why? <laughs> what are you doing, man? What are you doing? And then we'll be able to upgrade the base again. There goes Pen King to come over and help. Perfect. I'll take that. 
I'm negligible, dude. We're at the point in the game where the pals work so much better than we do. Like, why are we even here? Other than to give them directions on what to do next. We should really go catch those van worms, like I keep saying over and over and over. We could also catch Bushi and some other things that are like way lower level in other places. Because that'll be easier on our sphere count. Almost finished, y'all. See how they are after we finish the sphere right here. Oh, we lost Battalion in the middle of it. She had to go eat. Oh, no, she's working with him. All right. We'll keep going. The crafting times get long, that's for sure. I'm glad we made this warehouse like an actual like building. I really think it looks nice. And it's got like it's got the venting, the ventilation system. The electric furnace can let the heat out through there, obviously. Of course. What? That's it? It's just ore and pallium fragments? That's so simple. I mean, I guess Paldium Fragments aren't the easiest thing in the world to get a huge amount of, but... I can't believe Paldium Fragments are that simple. Hold up. Sorry, that was my Discord. I don't know how that's open. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I quit out of Discord entirely. So, sorry about that. Wait, actually? Pal Metal is just... Paldium? We still need refined nuggets for weapon assembly line 2, and we're gonna need 10 circuit boards, so I might as well make those. Might as well make those. We're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need, uh, more carbon fiber for that. I can't believe Palmetto Ingot is just ore plus Paldium. Okay, so if it takes... Okay. Three carbon fiber, five cement. We're already making a bunch of carbon fiber and cement for, for spheres, so that's not a big investment. How many pals, How many pallium fragments does it take to make a palmetal ingot? Two and four ore. So double as much ore as pallium. So every legendary sphere, the best sphere in the game, takes 20 pallium fragments... Which is a decent amount. That's half of a whole rock, to be honest. 20 Paldium Fragments. 20 Ore. 15 Wood. And 25 Rock. 15 Wood, 25 Rock. 20 Ore and 20 Paldium Fragments. That's expensive, but... Not absurdly so. Unless you think I'm crazy for saying that. I feel like it could definitely be more expensive than that. Okay. That's doable. It's still a lot. 20, 20 Paldium and 20 Ore for one sphere is a huge investment of Ore and, and Paldium. But for some reason, I don't know. I expected it to be worse. Lucky us, I guess. Alright. Level 20 base. Enhanced to max. Really? That's it? We did it! Now that we have access to Pal Metal, it said, alright, you're done. Base level 20 is max. Well, if you change the uh, world settings to max pals at base, you can make the max pals at base 20, so I guess that makes sense. That is surprising. Well, alright then. Very cool. Are we still not going to get these huge rocky eggs to hatch in this episode either? We really might not. 30 minutes. No, I don't think we will. Wow, we have to wait another episode for those huge rocky eggs to hatch. Bomber. Alright, Ultra Spheres. I can't believe this. We need so much carbon fiber. Just make carbon fiber. We need it. Okay, I don't know why I threw her at that because I'm about to leave. 
but you know. Okay, so over by this bushi should be bandworms. And we can catch the bushi that's much lower level than the ones at the volcano. I know it's a boss bushi, but like at the same time, I think the level difference will make up for it. Yeah, you better run. No van worms immediately nearby. It's a bummer. Maybe when we come back out. I'm hoping those eggs will give us experience too, because it should be things that we don't have, I would think. Alright, let's see how much Lux can cook these guy this guy. Here we go. Huge move. Bang. Lightning streak. Bang. Grenade launcher. Absolutely scorching this Bushi. It is pretty healthy. I mean, it's got a lot more health than the higher level Bushis. But at the same time, like... So? Let's see what the catch rate is. Maybe I made a mistake by doing this, but I think it would be a good idea. Makes sense to me on paper. Oh yeah, look at the how effective the Megasphere is on this guy. 100% that's better than facing the higher level Bushis. I only have four Gigaspheres. Let's hold on to those. Since I won't be making Gigaspheres anymore. There we go. Mass Kissed. Alright. Three ingots. I like that they give ingots. That's fun. Yeah. Alright, Van Worm. Where are you at? It should be roughly in this area. That's cool that we got max base level, though. There they are. Nice. I dropped pretty high here. Alright. Grenade launcher. Oh, uh, you know what? I, they could probably take another one, but I don't want to ruin this. Oh. Really? But really? Thank you. An artisan man worm. Nice. I need one more mozzarina. Nice that we caught those. No, I have mozzarinas. Okay. There was a time I needed one more, but I couldn't remember if that was still the case. It is not. Joltog Christ. No! That thing's definitely going down. Wow. Is that why sometimes things get launched in the air? That's funny if so. What? Reload. Come on. Okay. It's like you get hit and it stops reloading. Very strange. Nice catch percentage there. If we catch this other one, that's 10, right? That's 10. Alright. That's a wrap. See you later. Oh, look how close we are to 46. Oh, absolutely tickling it. Serpent? Because we are near Serpent, so I'll double check that as well. Wait, what? I'm so bad at seeing things, man. There's no way. There it is. Jesus. No, we got him. Okay. Well, all right, then. Let's go ahead and head on back. And maybe we'll hatch something out of an egg. Or maybe we'll make our way over to the volcano for a little bit here. We have a little bit more time before it's night, and that's probably when I'm going to want to head back. So let's see if we let's see if we find anything here at the ruined fortress city that I am massively enjoying exploring. Oh, yep, I bet it is hot. It's interesting that when you change armors, the shield disappears. 
I'm sure there's a reason for that mechanic. And I'm not fighting it. I'm okay with it. But it is interesting. Reptyro! Yes. Let's do it. Lightning strike, baby! Oh yeah, this Reptyro is go- Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> I'm sorry about the Discord, why? This reminds me of my really old videos. If you used to watch my videos back like a couple of years ago when I was brand new to YouTube, um, I used to have this Discord problem all the time. I, I tried everything to get it to stop and eventually I just started completely closing out of Discord before videos, which I guess today I forgot to do. Surprisingly. All right, how's Ultra Sphere looking? Oh, that better get in there and stay in there. Thank you. There it is! Use an Ultra Sphere to hit 46! Let's go. Last stamina upgrade, and now we're going straight health from here. Awesome. At 46, we can make Palmetal Armor, which we won't do, because I want the weather-resistant ones. Palmetal Helm, which we will do, because that's the best helmet in the game. Laxaurus Lux, I'm thinking about the Relaxosaurus Lux's Missile Launcher. Large Mounted Lamp, lights up large areas at a base? Uh, yes. We have so many tech points. I just didn't, I didn't spend points like I guess they would assume I would. We're at 21 with only 4 levels to go. I know I'm taking stuff at 46 and 47 though. Because at 46, I'm going to want... No, at 47, I mean. 47 and 48, right? Yeah, at 47, I'm going to take the weapon assembly line 2 for sure. And large ceiling lamps. I'm definitely taking heat-resistant pal metal armor. Definitely taking barricade set. Um, Yes. I'll take the electrical py pylon 2. So I'll probably be taking a lot from now on. Mounted <laughs> missile launcher. What the hell? I love it. This game is a absolute treat. Every time I get on, I swear. It's so good. Another Reptyro. Yes, please. I'll take it. Don't let me stop you. Let's do this. Yeah. Bang. He kind of resists electricity, doesn't he? Oh my god, the shaking. Oh, he popped me way up in the air. Lux took a hit. Lux took a hit. Lux is fine. One more shot. Okay. Uh, if he's just gonna stand there. Come on. Get his spears. Alright, ultra spears then. Fine. Alright, 62 with the Ultra. Come on. Get in there, stay in there. Yes. They started doing that extra delay to, like, tease you. Wixens. They'll run away from Lux. Lux is too strong for Wixens. More, dr more fire eggs. We don't need... More, more Wixens. There's Wixens everywhere over here. Wow, alright. Oh, well, now I'm a little uh, on the look for huge pallium deposits because apparently that's going to be the real decision maker on legendary spheres. We're just going to need all the pallium. All of it. You know what? I'm going to let them figure that one out. They can go ahead. Oh, hello. Hello. Silver Key got us two quartz ammo, cold resistant metal armor schematic two. Okay. Whoops. I do that a lot. Alright, we're almost done doing an outskirt like the total outskirts of the island. And then I'll start looking around the inside of it. But you know I love to do the outskirts first. And we're almost done doing that. So let's get the rest of these outskirts if we can. 
maybe get back down to the foot of Volcano and then head back to base for the episode. And then that'll be day 82 wrapped up. I just saw that stamina does not come back while you're falling. Oh no, what if you fell off planning to like take flight? And then it wouldn't... And then it wouldn't let you because, yeah, oh no, that could have been so bad. It wouldn't let you because you didn't get, like, you were about to have full stamina. Fell assuming that you'd have it back in time and then it just didn't happen. Aquaburst should be quadruple effective? I don't know, but it was effective. Well done, Quiver. Don't you dare. Ow. Rude. Ultra Sphere 76. That's so good. I'm enjoying using Ultra Spheres. Not a huge fan of crafting them because they take so many resources, but a huge fan of using them. Wow. There are Reptyros everywhere, actually. Another Aqua Burst into Grass Tornado Dragon Cannon. Good lead up. Loves to breathe that fire, don't you? Alright, 64 on level 37. We haven't. No! I was about to say we haven't had an Ultra Sphere fail yet! Aw, oh, damn it, I jinxed it with my dumb. Wow, really? Two of them? I really did jinx it. That's terrible. Thank you. These last four levels are going to be slow, I can already tell. But that makes sense. Aqua Burst on Pyrin. Does it survive it? It does. Pretty decently nice. Alright. Jesus, I almost killed it. Oh, wait, the Megasphere! 14? Whoops, missed. 14, not bad. And then I'll have to start using my Mega Spheres more wisely against things that are really garbage because we're running out. Please don't throw all these Mega Spheres and then throw an Ultra Sphere anyway. That would suck. I shouldn't have made all these Mega Spheres. We have way too many. Remember that episode where we made all the spheres in the world and we're, we're running out again? We haven't even, like, done the outskirts of the volcano yet, let alone the desert dunes and the cold shore, frost mountains area. There's so much we haven't done. That's the last Pyron right there. Feels good. Yeah, there's so much we haven't done yet. And still... All those spheres we made are, are just gone. They're, <laughs> they're gone. Used up. Done forever. Oh man. I kind of want to go back that for that effigy, and I kind of don't. It's right on the other side of the wall of the fast travel. We'll get it one day if we ever need to. But we we are so over on effigies, it's not worth it. Only reason I'm grabbing these is because they're kind of on the way. And maybe one day it'll be like an expansion will come out or an update will come out where you can get it your effigy capture level even higher. And we'll be glad we have these. Wow, another one. That was right next door. And another Wixen. Is this the Cold Shore? No, this is... At, oh, this is... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Mist... Uh, Moonless Shore. That's Moonless Shore. Which was way easier, by the way. There's the tower. One day. One day. <laughs> Gonna hit that tower. One day. But we'll see if we're anywhere near ready for that tower. Ooh, Blaze Howl knocked right there just like that. Nice. Let's catch that. I'll use Ultra Spheres on that. Aqua Burst. Ooh. Just too much damage to be able to do two of those. Okay. Come on, baby. Get in there. Ultra Sphere 64. Yes! 
Nice. That feels good. Our fourth Blaze Howl knocked. Go get this effigy. The progress in this game feels so nice. Hey, 71 fi refined ingots finally done. I can't believe pal metal ingots are just paldium. And, and ingot put together. Just pal metal ingot. I mean, it totally makes sense. I'm just shocked is all. It seems too easy. But now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm really thinking about it, if it's going to take 20 Paldium Fragments for each sphere, you don't get a, that many Paldium Fragments. Like, we're not exactly swimming in them, so maybe it makes sense after all. Can Aquaburst reach that? Nice. Dragon Cannon? Nice. Oh my god. 96 on the Ultra Sphere? Overkill. I'm okay with that. Level 33. That was way easier. Maybe we should have Mega Sphered that. My bad. Handgun Schematic 1. I'll pass. Alright. I We did have somewhere we could go explore next time. Another Blaze Howl knocked. I've been sleeping on how good Quivern is at catching things around here. I keep bringing out Lux thinking I need him to help me catch, but not Quivern's got this. Uh, yeah, we'll try... We'll try the Megasphere on this Blaze Howl knock that's level 34. Because that last one had a crazy catch rate. Uh, crossbow time. Hold up. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's not good enough. Gigasphere would have been the right amount, but Megasphere ain't it. Alright, fine. Ultra Sphere then. Okay, stop moving before I throw. 77 feels good. Nice. Oh, Quivin's getting hungry. Eat all that fried egg. All the fried egg you can muster. I didn't eat the stir-fried veggies again! Dude, I have brain issues! I have brain damage! God dang it, man! Tomorrow, for sure, he says. But we all know I I will probably mess this up. Dang it! I'm just I'm just gonna eat the last one, like at the start of the next episode, or maybe at the end of this episode. I'll eat at the end of this episode so I can't forget. And we'll see how long the attack buff lasts, because we have just absolutely wasted them. We being me. God, I'm an idiot. I just I just couldn't remember. I just messed it up. I goofed. 100%. My bad. Dang it, man. That was so dumb of me. Effigies in the dark. More Wixens. Alright, now I feel like we've done a pretty good job of exploring the coastline of Mount Obsidian. It was a very large area. Very large island. Look at the size of this thing. Compared to the rest of the game, that is massive. But at the same time, it looks like a lot of it was empty because it's just straight scale wall like scaling walls, you know? So Definitely large, but is it as large as like the center island? Probably not. I don't know if I'd quite say that. Getting a lot of coarse ammo from these chests. And I can't believe we found an assault rifle ammo merchant today. We got maximum base level today. It was a productive day. Productive two in-game days. Day 81 and day 82. Those were good ones. We got a lot more ultra spheres so we can catch some stuff while we're out. Now we know what pedal metal ingots will require so we can start preparing for that. I just absolutely just need to load up on Paldium Fragments. Every time I see Paldium Fragments, I need to be nabbing them. Two Gigas and a Hyper. Nice. We can find a purpose for those. Alright. Let's get back to base. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much. 
for joining me on this journey in Pal World. It's been a treat the whole time. Next time, we're finally going to get a lot of these eggs to hatch. They're so close. This huge scorching egg can hatch, though. Blaze Howl knock number seven. We take that. <clears throat> yep. So next time, we'll get three of these to hatch. That'll be great. And who knows what we'll accomplish, to be honest. I'll see all of you for more Pal World. Calm down, Yorgotide. Next time. <laughs>